guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode one of season three of Ascendance of a Bookworm. So let's go ahead and get started in three, two, one, go. I wonder how much we're going to see her family this season. They get all over you stuff. Ah! <laughs> You're not growing up so great, right? because I don't want her to get sick. Exactly. We don't need you to get sick even worse and such to the point where you got to be home in bed. So mine. Oh! 
And you are... Oh, yeah! Yeah, so why ask mine? No, it, it, it's not a no. You still have a chance. You just need to ask her parents. Because then it would be easier to stamp it on the paper. And then boom, it's on the paper. He's right. Please say yes.
Yeah, so he's got to, you know, make every little moment precious. Of course. No, oh, the eye catch is pretty. Oh, yeah. Is it good? <laughs> Yeah, because it's getting close to winter, you can get something to warm you up. <laughs> but at least she's not stressed. Don't stress her out. Yes, and that's sweet to be a very sweet, worried husband. I love that, but she's okay.
he's following him. Well, you just leave the kid alone? Damn! Yeah, you can't go out there by yourself. Mm -hmm. Just for her safety, though. I know it's a little upsetting, but it's for her to be safe. And I hate that. I know she doesn't want to be separated from her family. I I, I get that. It, it, but there's no other choice. She has to be somewhere safe. Of course she does. Be good, please. <laughs> exactly. Always tell your boss everything. Not too much of everything, but still. Oh, Tori. Don't cry. Exactly. Unfortunately. Of course she will, Tilly. I know, baby. I know.
Alright, so first initial thoughts on this third season. I think this is a really interesting start for it. I mean, like I said, it's been a while since I've watched season two. I don't even remember when the heck season two officially came out. But I do like the fact that, in a way, it kind of continued right where season two left off. I know that there's a 26.5 episode. Maybe I should have watched that first before watching this. But, you know, I missed this show so damn much. I was like, no, I want to watch it. I want to see the next ish. I'm going to continue on. I feel like the Ink Guild, we're, we're going to have a lot of moments where I feel like somebody is going to get hurt. A lot of people that mine really truly cares about. The ones that we get to see all the time versus the ones that we don't get to see all the time um, are officially going to get her only because they want her for that usable ink that she has. So Lutz is, is going to be the first of many people that she's going to hear about because if she didn't go stay with the high priest and stuff and decided to stay home and be with her family before winter came then of course what else would have happened in the next up and coming episodes somebody could have got stabbed um mugged or even worse and, and she would have blamed herself for it so of course yeah i'm glad that she's you know at where the high priest and everyone else is at the cathedral but at the same time i do feel for her She's, she's still a baby, so she wants to be around her family, so of course she's going to be freaking homesick. the one thing I miss about this show always the end card arts every single week like mwah, like oh uh, so good but yeah I get the reason of why she's super super homesick when you I, I can't imagine like uh, okay me it's a little bit different because I have never I've never been out of the country I've been to a different state without my parents and stuff yes you can phone uh, phone them like because of course our family our friends whoever they're a phone call away, a FaceTime away, whatever. But it's different seeing them face to face rather than through a phone because you're like, I can't touch them, I can't hug them, and such. Like, yeah, you know, you can be on the phone and you can cry and you can say, I miss you and such. But in Mind's world, she has no way of communicating with her family unless she goes to the high priest or, or to the head priest has like asks him or requests can I send a letter to my family um letting them know I'm okay da 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 da, da. but you know what's his face had requested for mine's family to possibly come up and just to see her because of course she's going to be homesick I, did I imagine her getting homesick after this for after the first night a little bit of yeah a little bit of no but I'm really excited to see what really is in store for this season and how many episodes we're going to get cuz I feel like we're probably going to get the initial like 24 episodes with this season just how we kind of got with season 1 and season 2 when um <laughs> they were split into like two curves and stuff or we might just get initial 12 to 13 they might wait a couple of months and then are like fall ish and then bring the second half when fall comes and such but yeah i, I mean i'm glad to see some of these characters again and, and you know some of the memories that i've had with them and how i felt about some people because yeah there were some people who irritated the crap out of me i think with some people who did irritate this the the, the hell out of me they're kind of going to get maybe a second chance. I'm not 100%, you know, quite sure on that just yet, you know, because this is only episode one. But who knows? Other than that, guys, that is my reaction to be towards episode one of season three of Ascendance of a Bookworm. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. and make videos every single day from the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys on Monday for episode two. Bye, guys.